Um, this is a Pro Ice High Performance 4 gauge power cable okay, for speakers. We're going to make a KML device with it today, and um, we already pretty much stripped it down on both ends, here and here. And what we're going to do is make KML wire out of it using just that and some electrical tape. Okay. Uh, I have a special con two special connectors. Um, this is going to be for a battery post connection, and this section here I got is for the wire itself to stick in. I'm going to use a 5 4 and a 3 Allen wrench to do that. Once I have it complete on the wire end, I'm going to take this copper and I'm going to throw it through. And then I'm going to solder it. I'm going to get a really good connection because I don't want a lot of resistance on this, so I want to stick it in. And I'm going to take solder here and I'm going to place it on top. So I'm going to do it all the way around to get a really good connection. Even though it's in the copper, we're going to do this with um, aluminum type wiring. Once we get that, we're going to take this Allen wrench, undo this, and hook it here. Okay? This end is going to be on the um, negative line we're going to do today, and this end is going to be on the negative line as well, except we're going to take copper and go directly to it. All we're going to do is we're going to make KML wire out of this, and each time we make it round with it, I'll show you what I'm talking about. If we take it, and we know that our line is going to go around and loop, okay? We're going to keep looping it, and we're going to hold it in place. Then we're going to take, as we go along, this electrical tape, and we're going to put it in on there to hold our placement. Once we get it shrunk up enough to do that, like about, you want it as small as you, tight as you can get it. So, like this, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to go through one end and come out the other. And we're going to take this end and do the same thing. Okay, so it's going to power, pretty much power itself and do what we needed to do today. So first I'll just show you something. Um, today I have a wire stripper, okay, wire cutters, needle nose pliers, and I got these Allen wrenches because of this connection. Very simple speaker connection. It's better. It has a lot of connections. It's clean off the battery terminals. We use this end you know, to get inside the groove and um, inside here, okay, for the posting. And we'll close this back up. And we'll take this end and clean the terminal here. I'll throw the terminal through and we'll etch it in a little bit. And you'll have a cleaner surface to work with. Or you can use sand, you know, paper to grind it down. I have taken coax with this little solid copper piece and um, made spark plug wires. I taped them up. I don't get shorts. I take and I put on the end of this before I hit anything, like if you have a spark plug wire and you take this coax and you run it through, you can use it, okay? If I come out and I want to put it on the end of this, I would need to make a KML wire, so I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. And we're going to take, um, this is, let's see, 14 gauge solid copper wire, 600 volt. Alright, we're going to make one and we'll show you some stuff. So I'm going to take it out, I'm going to cut it, and we're going to get a Phillips screwdriver and start working with it. Now we have a cut, we're going to take this wire, I'm going to wrap it around, and give it several turns. At least eight, nine, whatever. The more turns, the stronger this is. I'm using copper, solid copper, because I like to have the least resistance in the middle and around it as possible. And then I put electrical tape to keep the sonic frequencies inside of it. Okay, so now that I have it wound up, I take one end and I'm going to throw it through. Right through the middle. Okay, I'm going to take the other end, I'm going to take it and run it right alongside in the, in the middle and run it through. So then, what I have is I have both ends coming out the other side. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to pull them right through. So I take it like this, pull it through. I have a solid end. Take this end, pull it through. Now we have a solid thing formed by itself and handles itself. 